Hey guys, it's Donna with Resale Tips and Tales, and today I bring you a huge thrift haul. So typically my thrifting hasn't been much over like 40 to $60 usually is my average trip. Well today I went to our 50% off day at our community aid and I spent $100. Totally worth it though. So I didn't even think I was going today because of our schedule, but we went and I picked up some amazing things. I'm so glad that I went. So I can't wait to share with you guys. So we'll go ahead and get to it what I picked up. So my husband was there with me as well today and he found uh, one thing that he wants me to sell for him tennis rackets. <laughs> so I don't normally look at these. This is kind of more his line of what he looks at. Um, he likes more of the tchotchke and antiques and sporting equipments that I don't even look at usually. Um, but it's a set of two Wilson rackets and it comes with a bag um, and it was 50% off. So it was only $5. He found one comp for one racket that sold for $40. So I'm hoping that maybe we can get between 80 to $100 for these and they're really great condition. Some of the wrap needs to be redone on the bottom here, but that's about it. So that was an awesome find from my husband. Put that down for a fall. Um, I always check out the toy section, um, and this caught my eye today. This is a, it's called Wiz Builders, but it's a magnetic uh, building kit for children. Um, these are amazing. A lot of teachers love these, um, and this looks like it was an Amazon item originally. Um, it is used, so I've got to get in there and count them out to see what pieces are in there, but for $2.50, um, they retail new for $40. So even if I can get $20 for that, I will be super happy about that. Um, just a couple of clothing pieces. I got a lot of shoes to show you guys. So I'll show you the clothing hello. pieces first. You want to say hi? Hang on. Munchkin's kind of tired today because we've been out shopping all day, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to say hi? Hi. Go help daddy. All right. What did we get? Okay. Um, this shirt caught my eye. And I had no clue what it was, but now from afar, you probably can see it's got flying monkeys and a flying house on it. So it's Wizard of Oz theme, but what's cool about it is it's all of the words. And I don't, yeah, it's from the Wizard of Oz and it's by a company called Lithograph. Litgo? Lithographs. Yeah, I've never heard of this before, but I thought it was really cool and unique and I couldn't find a comp for this exact shirt. Um, there was a few on there, but it was just all over the place. Um, for $2.50, I thought I'd take a chance on that shirt, so that was pretty cool. Um, this brand keeps popping up everywhere for me and I thought this was a nice uh, Vans graphic long sleeve t-shirt. You can see in there it's in pretty good condition. There's a little bit of cracking there on some of the graphics. Um, but again, I couldn't find this comp yet, so and I only looked it up real quick in the store, but for $2.50, I thought that that was a steal. A um, couple of hats that I picked up. This one was really cool to me. It's just a Florida Gators, but it's raised up. I don't know if I can show that on there. And it's a fitted cap, um, and I only paid $2 for that, and I haven't looked up the comps for that yet, but it was in great condition, so I figured why not. And then... The other hat I picked up is this really cool Adidas hat, um, like this tie-dye Miami looking hat. So with this adjustable back, I thought that was really cool and it's really clean on the inside. So it doesn't even look like it was used. Um, and that was $2.50, so we'll see what I get for that. Uh, another shirt. They had this on their high-end rack, <laughs> but it was still 50% uh, off. And this is a cool black, um, sheer at the top and it feels like a leather or synthetic leather border um, but it's by a company called Miss Me. Their jeans are amazing. Um, I did just recently sell another shirt by Miss Me I think for about $20 um, but this I only paid $5 for so even if I can get $20, $25 for this I will be super happy and this one's way cuter than the other one <laughs> that I sold recently. Um, a couple of other odds and ends. <laughs> I found this one. This is just a 31 um, uh, can koozie. I can't talk. I'm just so excited about all the finds I found. Um, it's like a can cooler, but it's brand new in the bag. It was only a dollar. Um, and these I saw selling online for 15 to $20 brand new. So that would be great. Um, also picked up this, haven't looked it up yet, but I figured for $1.50, I should pick it up for the beats. It's just a case. <laughs> I wish the beats were in there for $1.50, right? Um, but it's in great condition, especially being that it's white. Um, so I don't know about that one. We'll see. Um, on to some cool shoes. Oh, no, one more thing I got that wasn't a shoe is this little tiny bag. So I had to dig. They have a bin that has all of the like wallets and little purses and that type of thing and cosmetic bags. And this was all the way on the bottom. I decided to dig in there for some reason. Um, but it's by a company called Itsy Ritzy. <laughs> it looks like they may 
make um, high-end baby bags. And this is just a double pacifier case, but it's brand new. Only paid $2.50 for it. And there's a whole bunch listed, and this, there's only one black one listed, and it's listed for $50. $50. They did have a bunch of this style listed. Um, but I'm thinking if I can maybe come in under the $50, that I might be able to flip that pretty quick. So that was exciting. So tiny for a pacifier case, really? Okay, anyway, so shoes. Let's see what we picked up. These are cool shoes. Never heard of this brand before, but apparently they are high end. Um, these are called Ruby Shoe. <laughs> They're brand new. Look at these, brand new. Um, I did pay, let's see here, $7.50 for those, um, but the comps were over $50. So for a brand new pair, we shall see what these cool shoes bring. It's got this cool cork. Um, with the pink peekaboo between them. <laughs> so I don't know, I'll be able to look out for those. Ruby shoe. Uh, let's see, what else? Picked these up. I love this brand. Bach Born Concept. These are one of my bread and butters, but these are so cool and tooled. And I've sold this exact same clog a couple of times, um, but these are in great condition. I wouldn't say they're brand new because there is a little bit of scuffing on the toe, but probably only worn once is what it looks like. I, I don't know, I need to clean these up and we shall see. <laughs> Uh, what these look like they might even be brand new i'm not sure they probably were worn to try them on in the store who knows um but i only paid five dollars for those those should sell for at least twenty dollars so, so the next pair of shoes i have i have to do a little more research on but these are adidas and what caught my eye on these is it says boston on it so i thought that was really cool i looked them up quick in the store and i think they were maybe comping at about 40 dollars. they are pretty dirty on the inside but the insoles should be removable um so i can clean those up but they were only four dollars so that would be awesome even 30 dollars for those would be cool um let's see of hookah one ones i'm telling you i found some awesome stuff today i'm really ex i haven't been excited about a thrift haul in a really long time and today i am um anyway so these are hookahs these shoes sell amazing no matter which kind they are um, i'm gonna clean them up of course so make sure you watch my video on how i clean shoes um but this here was only seven dollars and fifty cents and these go for probably forty dollars so and these are in great condition i just have to clean up the the white rubber soles on the bottom so whoever got rid of these is crazy um I get? Picked up a cool pair of, a couple pair of Brooks actually. Um, these are really good sellers for me. These are hot pink though, and they're kind of a small size, so I might sit on these for a little bit, but I love these. I purchased, actually they're eight and a half. Maybe I'll keep them for myself <laughs> after I clean them up. Um, I use these myself for running. Um, and these I paid, let's see if I can find the other shoe in here. Sorry, hang tight. I did pay $6.50 for those, um, but I should be able to get 25 to $30 for those. Uh, let's see, what else? These like popped on the on the shelf for me because I love purple, um, but these are in really great condition. I just have to clean the bottoms. I don't know, it looks like black top, so I'm not sure if I can get that off or not, um, but I only paid $4 for those, and they are, they're in great condition. Um, even the insides are really clean, so it's really just the bottoms that I have to scrub real good. Um, but these are Nike Hyper Dunks, um, and you wanna be on the lookout for these because typically they sell really well. They're a nice basketball shoe. Um, so for $4, <laughs> I'm hoping to get 30 $40 for those. I love the color of these and the condition, <laughs> but these are just a New Balance pair of shoes. They are smaller. These are the ones I was thinking about that are small. They're six and a half, um, but they may still sell. Um, these I paid $7.50 for, um, but look how clean they are. I mean, they look like they were only worn a few times. I probably don't even have to clean up the tops. <laughs> I mean, really, they probably were walked in a few times, what they look like. So I don't know, those I should sell for $25, I'm hoping, to 30. All right, hang in there with me. I've got some really cool things to show you at the end. <laughs> Found these Lucky Brand slip-on shoes. These are so cute. They're like a snakeskin blue color. Um, so I thought about Poshmark right away when I saw these and I only paid $4 for them. So I'm hoping to get 40 and they're gently used. I mean, the bottoms have a little bit of dirt, um, but the insides are so clean and the tops are so clean, but aren't those cute little ballet shoes? Valley Flats, I should say. So these obviously popped on the shelf for me. These are a pair of flip-flops with a peacock on them. I'll turn them around that way. Aren't they cool? Um, these are size 10, or I would keep them for myself because I just think they are so fun. Um, but these I only paid 
$100 for. And when I looked these up, um, the more unique these designs are, the better they sell. It's by a company called Dizzy. Um, so I don't know, I'm kind of curious to see what these go for, <laughs> but even for $2, if I can get $25 for these, that would be awesome. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, let's see here. And my last few favorite pickups from today that it just blew my mind that they were even sitting on the shelf the way that they were. A pair of Kohan. <laughs> I love this brand, but they are suede loafers and they are in amazing condition. Scuffed on the bottom, but other than that, they are in great condition. And these I only paid $6.50 for and these will go for $30, I am sure. Hang on. I need help with these because I've never even found this kind of pair and I'm hoping they're not fake. <laughs> Um, but it was worth the try to pick them up. So let me know if you have any great resources on whether these are fake or not. Pair of Fendi black croc high heels. Look at that cool style. Look at that. And only paid $10 for them. The only damage is the bottoms, which is natural because that's leather. The toes are awesome. The heels are awesome. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, it's like a stamped it is impressed, so it does have some impression on there. The bottoms, I don't know if I can get it on there, don't say Fendi, so I don't know if that's a giveaway that they're fake. I don't know, um, but they do have the leather stamp on there. Um, made in Italy, it says, and they are size eight and a half. So they're really cool. If I could wear heels, I probably would keep them for myself. Um, so if anybody's an eight and a half and like them, let me know. Um, but if these are real, these will sell for over $100. So these right here made my trip. <laughs> favorite find for today and I'm so excited about these. I've never found these before either. Hear about it all the time. Couldn't even believe that they were on the shelf. Tory Burch. Look at these cute little black leather ballet flats. Now I don't know if they fit me yet so if they fit me I may keep them but I only paid four dollars for them. How cute are those? The only damage is a little bit on the heel. There's like a little bit of rip on the leather there. Um, but I just couldn't believe they actually had a, a padding on the inside and I saw the little logo peeking out the top of it. So I took that out um, to make sure it was a Tory Burch, but I am pretty sure those are 100% Tory Burch. Maybe you can help me with some authentication out there, but it's got the little logo on the toe, which I thought was really cool. Um, so I don't know, guys, this was a really good day. I'm so glad that I came. I was kind of bummed that I didn't get there when they opened this morning, but now I'm kind of rethinking my strategy because I know they refill the, the, the shelves all day long. So maybe they put the good stuff out after everybody leaves in the morning. I don't know. I just couldn't believe the things I got. So anyway, leave a comment below if you have questions about any of the stuff I picked up um, or if you want to share some of the cool finds that you found today. Um, also, make sure you like the videos and subscribe to my channel so you can see more like this. All right, guys, until next time, happy thrifting.